Kwam Kwaso, Kwam Kwaso made a very fatal mistake. Kwam Kwaso, very fatal mistake. This is Kwam Kwasiya would have would have flooded the whole north and taken over the whole north. You know, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought. Of, of course, I always knew Kwam Kwaso was an intelligent person, but I thought he was fast matter. You know, when Kwam Kwaso started saying that uh, if he doesn't vote, if he doesn't win. The next person he's going to support was Tinubu. <laughs> I knew this man is not even smart at all. How do you make such comments? How do you make such comments? And then after he won, he still won. The next thing move he made that made me know the man is not really that. In fact, when it comes to politically, he just knows, all he knows how to do is to be brutal, to brutally win, to gang carry people and we and that is all he knows he's not really a good political strategist was when he started fighting ganduji right away you don't do such you win and relax first now after the petition tribunal has finished supreme court has finished when you know you already balanced you start making friends with your enemies you don't even fight them what are you fighting somebody you've already won you have won Grand DJ. What are you still fighting him for? Destroying structures. Making it obvious. Because the truth is that but that Grand DJ is not alone. Grand has his own sport. So what do you do? You make friends with his sport. You try to you try to bring him closer. So that even the people standing behind him will be like that. This man just wants peace. So let's make peace with him. He's already going to destroy structures. You see that kind of state? He won't win it. No, like he obviously won it. I mean, he won it. But you know, you saw what happened in Imo State. Even though it was not just PDP won, ABC still still did their own uh, 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 Maramara mara, mara, and took it away from them. So that's what was going to happen, Kano. And there's nothing he would do. Forget that Kwanqua Sia, even if they are one million. Because the truth there was, even when Pito B, when PEPT tribunal passed that their false judgment. The best thing somebody like him, Kwan would have done, was to start demonstrating immediately in Kano. So that the people that are in their own tribunal will know that, ah, 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 for this man to demonstrate over a poor false judgment given by PEPT, that means if such ever happens in his own state, he will burn down the whole Nigeria. But what did he do? He supported Tinibu. He pretended it was not his business. After all, he, after all, he, don't, he doesn't like Atiku and, and Tinubu, uh, Atiku, Atiku and uh, Peter B. So whatever happens, you know, it's not, not his business until he came to his own backyard. And he felt even if he carries the whole Kwakwasiya and jumps up and down, they will listen to him. Who cares? Not so you, ah, there's nothing you would do. They, but, but, they will declare to the emergency in Kano and flood that place with soldiers. And slaughter the whole people behind you and you keep quiet. So the man is not really a, a, a good political strategist. And the man is the best not has. I think the best advice I have for him now is to relax and stop making stop a politics of bitterness. Pitobi should be your friend. I think he should be your friend. Can Lujet should be your friend? One person that should not be your friend is Tinubu. That is one person. I should never be your friend. Because the truth that is that he's the president. He's everybody's friend. And of course, the only thing he wants is to entrench his political party everywhere. So he shouldn't be your friend. He should, he should, he should just be your leader and not your friend. But Ganduje should be your Try as much as possible to make Ganduje your friend. He has ruled his own eight years and past. You have ruled your own eight years and past. 